Man. Weather out here. Foggy and everything, and it's just nasty and wet. Not really a day I want to be out fishing. So, today I've got a different idea. I've got uh, Thanksgiving just passed, and Christmas is coming up, so why not do a holiday gift idea video for if you're looking for something for outdoorsmen or something. I got a couple of things that uh, I'm gonna go over, so let's go get those and check them out. All right, first up, got myself a little backpack here that folds into a chair. And it's not just a regular backpack, it's actually a little ice chest. I thought this would be a good idea to carry around, you know, drinks and stuff when you're out fishing. And uh, I did go out and test it out. And uh, it did make everything, carrying everything around a lot easier. And it was nice to have somewhere to sit down, but it's not waterproof. Something like this needs to be waterproof. I mean, it's an ice chest. Um, so, I mean, if you're putting ice in it, it's not gonna work out for you. It's gonna leak everywhere. Uh, the back of my truck was all wet. And, uh, but if you've got those freezer packs and you know, you wanna carry your lunch with you or something, that'll work out. Uh, I wouldn't fill it with beer and then dump ice in it. It's not gonna work out too well. It will keep them cold, but it's not waterproof. And this ran me about $25, I think, $25, $30. So wasn't really worth it to me. Uh, but it might be worth it to somebody else if you're not going to be using ice or something. It was pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I, I don't, I'm not going to bother showing the video of me putting some catfish in there because we went out catfishing, used it, and it got the job done, but it leaked all over the back of my Suburban. So that's number one. All right, number two here. Let me turn the light on real quick. You can see it's pink, but it's a neck light. You put it around your neck and it, you know, uh, I got this because uh, the last couple times I went night fishing, I was having to hold the flashlight under my chin or something. So I got this. That way I could have this pointed wherever the camera's pointed and not worry about having the, uh, or worry about which way I'm looking. So turn the light off there. I think that brighter setting actually works there. You can see the shadow of the GoPro on me. That's kind of funny. There you go, even brighter setting. This, I think this will work for, you know, if I catch a fish or something, I can show it to you right here. If I'm holding the rod, you should be able to see at least some of the rod and it's adjustable. You can move the lights around, that's even better. So this is definitely, worth it to me I only I didn't pay very much for it this is pretty cheap unfortunately I didn't get to choose the color and they sent me a pink one but I'm still gonna use it this is pretty cool happy with this uh, if you know somebody who goes fishing at night or even likes to just lie in bed and read this is perfect uh, I haven't gotten to take it out with me yet because uh, I just haven't been night fishing since I've got it and speaking of night fishing, I've got one more gift idea to go over. All right, got my workbench here. Actually, you know what? This would also make a pretty good gift. Uh, I'm sure they have them for newer GoPros. This is actually for the GoPro Hero 4. Let me use my light here so you can see it a little better. Uh, it's a battery bank charger. Charge it up through there. You can charge your phone on it. It's got a built-in flashlight. That's actually pretty bright. It's even brighter than this thing. This is a pretty good flashlight, honestly. And it's got two ports on it to charge GoPro batteries. So this, if you know somebody with a GoPro or something, this is pretty cool. And uh, the next thing here, this. This is what I was really excited to get because every time we go to the lake, all the spots with the light, the light poles are all taken up, or even down at the coast, light, everything's all taken up. Uh, hmm. It's got a, this is a telescopic 
It's got a fishing rod eyelet on it, but it's a telescopic pole. This is about probably between 10 and 12 feet long. I haven't had a chance to measure it out yet, and uh, I don't remember what it said when I bought it on Amazon. But that's a long pole, telescopic pole. It also came with a rod holder that I, I'm actually probably going to end up using this for my fishing rods when I go to just carry it in the truck or something. It's a charger with alligator, alligator clips so you can hook it to a car battery or you've got the uh, lighter charger to plug it in. And this is it right here. It's an LED panel. It's actually metal. It's supposed to be super bright and you can hang it from that that rod and yeah it actually screws in that let me see it came with a couple of screws so it's supposed to screw on like that so it's gonna it holds it flat like this so it'll be like a fixed light and yeah that's pretty cool hopefully it's as good as they advertise it it's got an extra long cable here there's the wing nuts to tighten it down uh, and a remote controller you set the rod holder up you put the light up on that pole it takes it up 10 12 feet up in the air even higher if you put it on top of your car or something and it lights up the whole area or it's supposed to so I'm gonna wait till it gets a little bit darker outside and go try it out so get to that all right so this is the controller the brain of it that plugs in separately it's got a remote pull that thing out so you can use that I've got an old car battery here that I don't know if it's got any charge to it but we're about to find out hopefully it does And that's barely going to reach. Let's see. Whoa. Hopefully it's got enough power to turn it on just a little bit. Oh, yeah, look, there you go. It works. This is not a full powered thing, but it works. Let's see if the remote, ah, the remote works. Let's go light. I don't know if that means brightness. I can make it brighter or dimmer, supposedly. 100%, 50%, 25%. That's pretty cool, 100% speed. I don't know what the speed does. It doesn't do anything so there it goes now I can I can it's the strobe light too so I can slow it down or speed it up like that but mode different modes I think it just turned off there it goes There you go, just light, and it's steady light. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Well, it might not light it up enough for the camera to see, but this will light it up enough for you to see what you're doing while you're fishing. So that's pretty cool. Gonna put the wing nut through the, the eyelet on the rod. Connect there, put the other wing nut across the top. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> it's pretty cheap putting that fishing pole eyelet on there because the plastic's the, uh, 
what's it called from the inside it was just broke out now that I tightened it on there but that's all right it doesn't really need that so there you go that actually holds it on pretty well it looks like a garden hole all right let's go it's starting to get dark out there let's go test it out wow I just plugged that in on a fully charged battery in my truck it is super bright so this is as advertised that's pretty cool I've already got the rod holder stuck in the ground over here let's just go extend it out make sure everything's extended and uh, see my arm on it pretty good of course it wants to lean away but there you go it holds it up in the sky it's bent a little bit but this I'm actually pretty impressed look how bright that is it is dark out here let me show you the difference here so my hand I'm gonna hit the power button disappears back that is awesome that is actually better than I thought it was gonna be this was probably the most expensive thing I've bought for this video cost me about 40 bucks 45 bucks around there but I think this is actually worth it that is really cool that's awesome this is definitely gonna come in handy at the lakes uh, that's it for this video this uh, telescopic fishing light is by far the best thing I got the neck light that's also gonna come in handy uh, another flat everything's lighting related apparently today uh, the ice chest backpack not really worth it to me um, somebody might find it worthwhile I mean if it was waterproof it would have been ideal it would have been perfect but I don't like that it did, that it leaked all over my truck uh, and uh, yeah the, the, the GoPro charger thing all of these things I bought on Amazon so check out the links in the description if you're interested and this thing is freaking awesome thanks for watching see you next time